Live from Lala Rink in North Andover, Massachusetts, it's Merrimack College women's hockey action as Merrimack takes on Dartmouth from the ECAC. Ready to go. Referees are Thomas Quinn and Rick Santelli. The linesmen are Russell Tedford and John Mulroy. Merrimack is in the home gold. And they'll skate from right to left. Dartmouth in their dark green uniforms with white. Kaufman sends it to Oosterveld near circle. Oosterveld goes below the goal line. Far circle shot deflection on Sullivan. Dartmouth able to clear. And now quickly Merrimack trying to establish something on the power play with 50 seconds remaining. Here's Pongo. Up on top, Pongo gets the return pass from Chang. Pongo sends it low. Warriors not getting any space here. Dartmouth doing a good job of sealing here on the PK. Quick shot right on. Save is made by Sullivan. It was Izzy Powell that blocked that shot. Tremendous block. He is a quick chance on goal. Saved by Gorski. And the puck is sent back into the neutral zone. And Dartmouth with a steal, looking for a breakaway opportunity here, moving in, and a shot. Gorski makes the save, moving in there was Donahue with that chance, and Brock, we may have a call coming here. Going to call it a high stick. It's going to be on the Warriors. Ray Sott will go to the box. Without, without an argument here, let's watch this. As she de defends here, lost the puck, so now she's going to be the chaser, the defender here. Does she slash or lift the stick up? Nope, high stick. Good call by the officials there. Warriors working near circle. Hannah Corneliuson with a shot, and a save is made, and a beauty by Sullivan. Great opportunity for the Warriors there. So, offensive zone draw for the home team. As McKinley waited to win the face off the shot right on, and getting a piece of it as Sullivan has started to roll behind her. Got back and really, really made a tremendous defensive point. And the big green carry into the offensive zone. Quick shot, kicked out, rebound, score! The first shot on goal was taken by Callie Dixon, and it was a juicy rebound in front at 7.22 of the third. Dartmouth will take the 1 0 lead on a goal by Sophie Robinson, who made a great defensive play down the other end. In one end, and you, how often do you see that? Nice feed here. You know there's trouble. They have numbers. That's one that's kicked out straight to the left wing and uh, makes no mistake about it. And Merrimack will start the attack from right to left. Puck sent into the diamond zone. Pongo behind the D with the shot. Score! Alexa Pongo. And there go the teddy bears here at Lola Rink. Teddy bear toss night. They've been waiting for this all night. And Alexa Pongo ties the game. Quick answer by Pongo coming down the right wing side. You heard it ring off the crossbar and go straight down. Alexa Pongo is on fire. Three goals in her last two games. Look at the shift, keeping her eye on the puck. Bats it forward, but doesn't stare it. Quick snapshot right off the crossbar near side. Donahue sends it cross ice, now back up on top. Dartmouth holding King with a shot, score on the deflection, and Dartmouth will win it. Power play goal in overtime. King took the shot. It was deflected over the top of Emma Gorski. And at 118 of the overtime period, Dartmouth will pick up the 2-1 victory. Brock will take another look at it here as King takes the shot. Ooh, I don't know. That go off a Merrimack stick? Could have been. King would get the winner in that case. Yeah, that might be it. That might be her goal. But at any rate. Dartmouth wins it two to one. So these two teams will meet again on Saturday. Merrick, Merrimack will have a chance to go for the split. Dartmouth goes to four and ten. Four and five on the road, too. Yes, and Merrimack will go to five, 13 and one.